A paper for a humanities class, like a literature class, will usually need to be written in MLA style. It's important for your audience to be able to understand where you got your ideas and quotations, and for them to easily find those sources in order to read them themselves, and therefore you need to cite your sources in a clear and consistent manner. Let's take a look at how to use citations in MLA style. Every source you use for a quotation or for an idea must be cited in your paper. When you write about a source, you will need to mark it with an in-text citation. MLA requires that you give the author name and the page number if there is one. The author name will often be used in the sentence, but if not, it should be inserted in parentheses at the end of the sentence, as in these examples. If no author name is available, you may use the name of the responsible organization or a distinctive word or two from the title, as in these examples. At the end of your paper, you will need a Works Cited page. Every source you used must be fully documented here. You'll list the sources alphabetically by author or first word, and use a special format called Hanging Indents, in which the first line goes all the way to the left and the lines underneath are indented. You can easily do this on a word processor by going to the Format section and finding where the indenting is controlled, usually under Paragraph. Hanging indents are usually under a special option. You will often be able to get a full citation from a database or the library catalog without having to write it yourself. Check out our video on getting citations to learn how. A full citation includes at least the author, title, publisher, and date, and this is the basic pattern. The idea is to make it easy for a reader to find the source, so you'll want to include any special information and be specific. If you only used one chapter in a book, it's good to say so. The details of writing full citations for every kind of source are much too complex to go into in a short video and it's all explained fully in our MLA guide or the Purdue Online Writing Lab. Before you turn in your paper, go through and make sure that every outside idea or quotation has an in-text citation to go with it, that every in-text citation has the full citation available on the Works Cited page, and that every citation in the Works Cited list has been used in the paper. If you don't feel confident in your citation skills, you can use these resources or check in with the CAS. If you need more help or have questions, contact the library.